you know that I don't, I'm not into that. That's not my sense of humor. And we talked about that. We discussed it in length. And I was like, yeah, he gets it. I don't, I don't talk about fart jokes. I don't think they're that funny. And it's like, I can even, okay. Let's clear the air that, um, when America's fun, remember America's funniest home videos, when everyone was mailing their stupid shit and try and win money before the internet and all that stuff. <clears throat> Even as a child back then, when, when Bob Saget was hosting that show, it was a fantastic show. I mean, $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 prizes every week. It's a lot of money to win just for a stupid video. You know, that your goofy kids are going to do anyway. Christmas, opening things, and doing silly, goofy stuff. When it comes to, like, the soccer ball hit the dad in the groin, uh, kid missed the ball, swung around, hit dad in the groin with the bat. A dog comes over, he's biting and barking and snapping at things. He comes over and bites dad in, in the nuts. I, I don't... That's not funny to me. Nut shots, that's cheap humor, okay? And that's the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I categorize, like, fart jokes and everything else, poop dumplings, right in that same category. It's like, it's not, it's not funny. Fart cannon, shit's just not funny. You know, a lot of the other people, like a lower brow kind of audience, you know, America's Funniest Home Videos, for one, yeah, that that's what they were going to. They're, they're just resorting to dad getting hit in the groin all the time and everyone's fucking losing their minds and laughing like that's not funny to me it's the same thing with fart jokes i i guarantee you if if america's funniest home videos was on after 10 p.m we we would have seen a lot more fart jokes uh from that yeah from that organization from that establishment okay but because they're on like 6 7 p.m in the evening they still have to make it kid friendly, you know? And so it's just a bunch of fucking home videos of dad getting fucking nailed in the groin and everyone losing their minds and laughing. And poor dad. Dad's over there going to work every day. You know, that was back, and that was still back when like Americana and that whole American dream was still alive and well. And I, I would argue flourishing in the, uh, continental united states maybe not so much alaska and hawaii but yeah across the united states uh we had a culture of men were still going to work there's still stay-at-home moms back then you know um, back then we had an economy that at least had the sense to try to keep families together and intact in order for um well, in order to form a more perfect union right had values still back then and that was just yeah 30 short years ago 30 short years ago and now look and now look at us you know we can't even talk we can't even talk about certain things but it was still back at a time when it was like it was okay for dad just to always lose it was it was like expected it's like oh dad so fucking stupid oh dad got his fucking nuts in the way again you know dad got his nuts slammed in the door like, how did he do that? That same way he got his nuts fucking jacked with the, the fucking baseball bat by that four-year-old. Got In the same way the fucking soccer ball came. He's eating that ice cream cone. Soccer ball nails him right in the face and then the nuts. I love, I love the video where the guy's like, I'm pretty sure it's an English guy too, or at least someone in the UK. And he has this ice cream cone and a brand new, and he's all like proud about it. And he's about to like fucking just sit down and just enjoy this ice cream cone. And then just out of nowhere, this, this soccer ball cruising at like 200 miles an hour just fucking smashes him in the ice cream cone. I love that shit.